Hi everyone, welcome to Lucilva's Cooking. I love pot roast and this recipe is simple with fresh ingredients and so tasty. I start by preheating my pressure cooker on medium heat and adding 3 tablespoons of canola oil. I'm making this dish in this pressure cooker because I don't like the saute setting on my instant pot. It just doesn't cook the ingredients fast enough for me. Here I have 2.8 pounds of a beautifully marbled chuck roast that I cut into large chunks. I put the list of ingredients in the description. I'm going to sear the first of two batches because I don't want to crowd the pan. I'll let each side sear undisturbed for about a minute. I turn one side to see what it looks like and it's going well. That's the color I want. It doesn't take that long to sear the beef. It's totally worth it because searing makes the beef and the dish taste so much better. I continue turning and searing all the pieces. Chuck roast is wonderful. I love it. It's flavorful and it has the right amount of fat for pot roast. Look how beautifully browned it is. That's pure flavor. The second batch is in and done. To that awesome fond left at the bottom of the pan, I add one yellow onion, finely chopped. I stir it around a little bit. Add three garlic cloves, finely chopped as well. And a stir, frying it all together. I added another tablespoon of canola oil to fry the onion and the garlic since it's a little bit dry. And I stir a little bit, scraping the fond off the bottom of the pan. I add a little freshly ground black pepper and one quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper powder. Have you ever used it in your dishes? It's just a little bit spicy. I've loved it ever since I used it in my chicken chow mein. I also add one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, two fresh tomatoes that you may replace for a 14 and a half ounce can of the tomatoes of your choice. I remove the skin and seeds. There's just pulp and juice here. I showed how I did it in a couple of my spaghetti and meat sauce videos. I'll place a link of those videos in the description as well. And look at this cutie everybody. It's a little green bell pepper from our patio garden. We grow them year round here in Central Florida and I am definitely going to use it in this recipe. And this little banana pepper from our patio garden as well. I love it because it's not spicy. So I finally chopped both of them and added to the pan to make the sauce taste even better. You stir everything well and let it cook for about 3 minutes. This sauce smells so good and fresh already. Imagine the flavor. After 3 minutes of cooking, it's time to add the beautifully seared chuck roast chunks and the resting juices back to the pan. And give it a good mix. I saute it for a good 5 minutes and I love my 27 year old pressure cooker here. Because being on a stove top, it's easier for me to control the temperature when searing and sauteing. Looking and smelling good. I also add a bay leaf. I love this one. It's one big green leaf. I put a link in the recipe in the description. And last but not least, three cups of filtered water. We have two great filters here at home that turns our not so tasty tap water into clean, delicious drinking water. So if you can use filtered good tasting water in your recipes, please do. No funky tap water flavors allowed. I like to wipe down the rim of my pan with a damp paper towel. Let it dry and put on the lid. When the pan builds pressure and the pan pops up, I'll let the meat cook for 40 minutes. While it cooks, I'm going to make some rice. I preheat my medium sized saucepan on medium heat and add 3 tablespoons of canola oil, 1 yellow onion finely chopped, and 2 garlic cloves chopped or grated. Saute them for about a minute or until they're just a little golden and keep it on medium heat. I love this rice, I always make it. This is my go-to rice and there are different ingredients you can add to it to make it your own. I made a similar one in my Brazilian beans and rice video. That was the very first video I posted on my channel. My beans rock everybody. Everyone who tried them asked for the recipe so I made the video. Okay, so now that's a little golden. I add one and a half cups of jasmine rice. I love this rice. It has a special gourmet extra flavor. And I always rinse my rice one hour before cooking 
to remove that powder around them. I don't want that extra starch so I can keep it fluffy at the end. But let it dry completely before cooking. So I basically fry the rice with the onion and the garlic until it gets a little golden. You have to stir it every once in a while so it doesn't burn in certain spots. Then leave it alone for about 30 seconds. Stir it again and let it fry for another 30 seconds and so on until it's a little bit toasted. It took me about 3 minutes to get it to the right color, you know, stirring every 30 seconds like I showed you. I add 2 cups of water and add a medium diced carrot. Why not? Now, salt to taste. I added 1 quarter of a teaspoon. Stir. Taste the water to see if it's good on salt. And it's perfect for me, but salt is to taste. Let the water come to a slight boil like this. Cover, turn the heat down to low, and let it cook for 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now the rice is done. And I know it is because it not only looks cooked, but it also has no water left at the bottom of the pan or at the top of the rice. Cover and remove it from the heat. The meat is done cooking and I let the pressure come out on its own so the meat doesn't dry out. The pin is down and I can safely remove the lid. And look how nice. I love chuck roast. To me, there is no better roast for the pressure cooker, slow cooker or oven. I placed the meat in a serving dish and covered it with foil. To this delicious sauce, I add one pound of baby yellow and baby red potatoes cut in half with one cup of filtered water. Stir well, increase the heat to medium high and let the potatoes cook without pressure. The sauce is going to reduce and the starch from the potatoes is going to thicken the sauce a little bit. I have about 5 minutes left on the potatoes, so now I'm going to add fresh thyme and fresh oregano from my herb garden as well. I just removed the leaves. Have you ever tried fresh thyme and oregano in your pot roast? It's excellent. The oregano is strong, so I only add 4 leaves. I'll let them cook in the sauce for about 5 minutes and our sauce will be ready. I thought I would show you my little herb garden. I have sage, basil, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and chives. You can have an herb garden even if you live in an apartment. It just needs a little light, water, and it's easy to maintain. Here in Central Florida, we have it outside year-round. The potatoes are cooked and the sauce has reduced and thickened. I turn off the heat and it's ready to serve. If you like my recipe, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. I just pour this amazing sauce and potatoes all over the tender beef and give it the final touch before digging in. I like to add some chopped cilantro leaves. If you follow my channel, you know I put it on a lot of my dishes, but you may use parsley or even green onions if you prefer. I also like to garnish with chives from my garden, of course. Fluff up the rice a little bit with a fork and it's ready to serve as well. That's one succulent pot roast. I like to make a little bed of rice and just place that amazing tender beef, sauce and potatoes right on top. Yum! I'm going to try it and I'll start with this little potato right here. It's calling my name. That sauce is to die for everyone. And the potatoes are delicious. They absorb the flavors of the sauce. I don't need a knife. It's all tender and juicy. I didn't rush to depressurize the pan. And 40 minutes on medium heat were plenty of time to cook it. I hope you like and try my recipe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.